Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. So in this video, I have uh, some progress in terms of my bench press unevenness. I've had this issue for a while where my left arm is very weak, slow, and I would say goes to sleep and the right arm has to do all the work. Uh, this issue had come in my deadlift as well. So it is just not a simple one. But um, I suppose the solutions can be simple and my girlfriend Dr. Inga suggested me that I put my left arm, the weak arm, slightly wider. So basically try an uneven grip. A light bulb went off. I'm like, oh, why have I not thought of this? There are times when uh, most of us are reluctant and close to the ideas of any solution and we just keep suffering the issue and that thing that's what was happening to me i was not being innovative about my thinking on how to fix it as you can see i'm just adjusting my left arm measuring it around and having it a bit more wider uh, than my right arm and that made so much sense and uh, at least in these video that in this video that you'll see these reps um, there is not so much of imbalance or asymmetry when my bar goes down and up. It does happen a lot more, or it used to, I should say, in heavy reps, in those grinding reps. But I haven't been able to do a good justice to my uh, bench press in a long time. So this was one of the first few sets that I started using the uneven grip. Basically, the left arm is wider. Now, thinking of it, let's say, geometrically, the left arm then becomes shorter. It has a shorter distance to come down and go up. And it will extend quicker. The elbow will extend quicker. So I think with that, and obviously activating really my scapulas and my lats, pushing my legs down, all other things that are required to do a good and efficient bench press, you know, was good. Uh, prior to this video, I have done quite a few workouts testing out the uneven grip, uh, the left arm wider grip, and uh, the other key component is to use lightweight, which I did. It sucks, but I had to do that. And this was a kind of a little bit of a litmus test for me to try a bit more weight, 80 kg, 90 kg. I don't know if I'm doing 100 kg in this video or not. I'm not sure. So it seemed to have uh, had some effect in uh, getting close to finding the solution. I don't think so. I have the full solution, but uh, it is better than what I was experiencing. A wonky seesawing bar. Um, it's not happening anymore. I'm also not bringing the bar all the way down to touch my chest. Something that uh, I am not used to, but I, I have to start doing it. Um, but I can just see in the mirror, my bar comes very, very close to my chest, but I'm sure I made it, I made a point not to touch it and not go too deep where the imbalances can be exposed, where my traps, my shoulder, uh, which must be weak and slower, getting more slower. I'm looking at it, I feel like I should really control my descent a bit more, but you can't really go very slow if the weight is lighter. So um, just a little progress report, I suppose, to you guys that there are some issues always in your form, in your lifts, and the solutions are around. Uh, I'm yet to go for a full deep dive into this on, on internet and YouTube. And I'll, I, I'm sure I'll find some good suggestions to solve this issue. I'm already doing pretty well. My pain on my SI joint is, has almost disappeared thanks to BPC157. I will do a proper video on that. So as the weight was going up, as you can see, 70 kg, 5 sets of 10, which is a lot of volume for me. Um, I was doing okay. My Look at that. I'm not pushing the, uh, bring the bar all the way down. So yes, um, I reckon having my left arm slightly wider is helping solve this issue. I have thought of this many times, having a spotter. Having someone with you 
who knows exactly what's happening what needs to be done it's a very good thing i i have always uh, almost always maintained the view that it's good to train alone but there are some great benefits of having someone and i know that more after i started to do coaching and as a personal trainer that how somebody with you can really help you in positive way for example when i helped uh, my clients in their bench press i witnessed that on their struggling grinding rep like 7th or 8th or 9th 10th rep they were able to push the bar up no problems almost but they will favor on one side more than other and it is fine in those grinding reps that there is imbalance because it's a very grinding rep and in f- on many occasions i gave instructions to my client saying in those reps i want you to be very still don't move your head keep your mouth shut don't make any noises and just focus as much as you can i know it's hard use your mind to just say that i'm going to push this bar straight i i took videos of them in those grandy reps and showed them how their bar swayed out of the bar path which means it is difficult and not very mechanical efficient when the bar is not on the bar path which means they still have the strength even though it was an um a non mechanically efficient bar path so i told them you have a strength all you have to do is focus on pressing the bar back straight into that invisible slot where it has to go every single time so if it is ninth or 10th rep just be very still don't make any noises or nothing just focus on using your lats against the bench and push the bar back straight and that is what i think i miss sometimes if i had someone telling me that i would not even want them to spot me uh, if anything if it's a heavy bench uh, then i will help them to take the bar off uh, the rack for me and step out and i have thought of having a spotter i think uh, at any point there are two great uses in my mind for having someone with you many like there at least three uh, one of that is just change the plates for me <laughs> just add the plate remove the those heavy plates especially in deadlift second is to help me give me some cues and feedback while they are watching me which is very important not feedback no, not a feedback like yes you can do it you can, no no none of that tell me how my elbow was was it flared out when i was bench pressing what was my depth like stuff like that thirdly i and in the third one is when i use specifically off bench press taking the bar off for me because sometimes on the rack that i'm bench pressing the holes are too high because there's a gap in between is too much and it is pretty unsafe to push them up against those hooks which are a bit higher and the bar just hits that so if i could have someone just pull it up for me in the start that's 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 will the right one and give me those cues saying raj you got to press the bar straight you know keep your elbows in and give me the feedback and fourthly which is the most important which is the most common use people have spotters for is to spot them for the grinding reps i would love to have someone to do that but i have safeties and if i fail they are always there but it will be wonderful to have someone just to help me like assist me 20% on those grinding reps it'll be awesome anyway so uh, i think i'm going to uh, i haven't but romanian deadlift is come into my program because my deadlift conventional deadlift still hurts my si joint a lot but it is getting better and with romanian deadlifts they are much lighter and i'm really seeing the benefits of it you can see that the right the left plates are lower than the right but not by too much so my next thing would be also to have a little wider grip in my deadlift same thing as bench press so there is a lot of um, you know investigative work going on uh, trial trying different things um, i was lucky that i was in this gym <laughs> in my session and there was nobody around so i took my shirt off i had such a big pump from chest um, by doing bench press 
so yeah everything went really well i'm on i suppose on a positive curve in my training uh, the weights are not that extraordinary but i'm making progress in my form and in my pain management especially the si joint pain that i have been having which is because of that my squats has been bad my deadlift sucked so i'm working on those things and uh, I'm not in no rush to start adding lots and lots of weight because uh, it'll come. My squats are pretty decent. I think you've seen uh, my squats at 180 kg, 190 kg, and I wasn't fully. I'm not fully satisfied with my 190 kg squats, so I'm going a little lighter, like 140 kg, 150 kg, is getting my form right, my depth right, and it is so amazing to keep. Uh, improving on what's happening rather than just going for the big goal of just making sure that 200 kg happens and then on that way i just forget about the basics which is the form the depth the tightness you know the knees out and all those things so this session has been uh, what i call a kind of a corrective type of session it does have its use for making me strong, but it is more to fix those issues. It is more to try and experiment those new things that I've had in my mind. And I'm telling you, having a wider grip on the left, having the uneven asymmetrical grip has really helped. BPC-157 also has definitely helped. So please uh, keep enjoying my journey and drop a comment, like and subscribe and uh, i will bring you more videos this one was uh, i i think i was due for a video which didn't have a squat because i was i'm mostly about squats but i will bring you videos of my bench press remaining deadlifts and my overhead press as well anyway guys thank you for watching and i will see you next time